Well, welcome into the round of 32, second round of the NCAA tournament and potentially the third round of the NCAA tournament edition of Rolling with Stone. Tom Stone joining us here on Texas Tech TV. Coach, before we get to Texas A&M and that second round in the tournament, let's talk a little bit about the first round here and taking care of business here at home. Well, it was a special night. You know the fans turned out and the, and the Walker soccer complex was rocking and the girls played lights out. Came out on fire, scored a great goal. Thought we took our foot off the gas a little bit and you really started to see the quality of Minnesota. But in the second half, just came out and put them away. And um, like you said, took care of business. Just an unbelievable story now. You haven't seen them since 2011, since bolting to the SEC. But now it's an old Big 12 rivalry back in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Your thoughts on the matchup? Well, and it's, it's really not much of a rivalry because they were one of the first teams that were serious about soccer, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And, and when Tex as, as we've continued to get better, they haven't been in our conference. So we haven't really played them with this version of our team. Um, and most of our players haven't played these guys. So it's a, uh, it's a new game for us. And we're excited to be in such an impressive group of four teams. And, and we're excited to get over to Chapel Hill and get moving. How prepared is your team now? Because they've done it last year and came so close last year against Florida State. How is this team prepared for this stage now? I think more prepared, uh, for sure. Our juniors were kind of the leaders of last year's team, and now they're seniors. And they're driving, certainly driving this team. Our freshmen, who were very impactful uh, in their first year now, they're more mature and more experienced sophomores. And this is all they know going to the tournament. So this was their expectation. I think there's more confidence on our team's part, just knowing what to expect. But every year is unique. A&M is very different from Florida State, you know, pros and cons. And that's uh, going to take everything we have to advance. When you take a look at Texas A&M, I, I know they have the same coach, do a lot of the same things. But what do you see from the Aggies? Just excellent team speed, um, very similar through the years at the things that they put priorities on, and they're very good at those things. Um, it's a pretty relentless team, which we enjoy playing against those types of teams. So, you know, we, we like that aspect of it. And it's a team that's got a lot of experience in the NCAA tournament. So, you know, we know what we're up against. Uh, we respect their qualities, and uh, we're going to have to be prepared for them. So you play Friday, 2.30 in Chapel Hill with the possibility, the winner of that game, getting the winner of Indiana and the defending national champs, North Carolina, in Chapel Hill talk about that potential possibility waiting for you. Well, I, I think that the winner of the Friday night game will certainly have their hands full because who you're playing, but more importantly, where you're playing them. And North Carolina has an incredible uh, record at home. However, you know, A&M's getting all of our attention. We haven't watched a minute of anybody else. Uh, it's the team we have to game plan for. And then you've got a really short turnaround to try to get ready for, you know, the winner of the Indiana Carolina game. So it's a, it's a, like I said, it's an impressive group of teams. You have the SEC champs, defending national champs, a great team from the Big Ten, and the number two team out of the Big 12. And, uh, you know, hopefully we're still uh, alive and kicking on Sunday, but uh, it'll, it's all about Friday night for now. From Chapel Hill, it's Texas Tech and Texas A&M with the possibility of playing that third round match against the winner of Indiana and the number one seeded North Carolina Tar Heels. Keep it tuned to TexasTech.com and Texas Tech TV for the very latest as we will keep you up to date on all the happenings in Chapel Hill. Coach, best of luck. See you again soon.